Hey guys, it's Sean here from RC Car Shop. Today we're doing an unboxing and an overview slash review of the HPI Bullet Flux Range. In the box, you get your TF40 2.4 GHz controller. You get some spring clips, a couple of shock parts, Allen wrenches and wheel nuts. And your HPI Bullet DVD and as well as manual. Okay, so guys, these two monster truck and stadium truck built on the same platform. As you can see, we've got different tires, different body. For the body, guys, obviously, had to put on slightly longer body post. So the only difference between them would really be those differences I mentioned now. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go through one vehicle. Just know that all the benefits and features and, the, and, and pitfalls are the same. Alright, let's start off with the overall build quality. Pretty well built, 8 shocks, does soak up the jumps quite well. Through the air, flies quite straight, quite true. And on the, on the landing, relatively good for an RTR vehicle. We've got your full aluminium skid plate. Pretty tough A-arms, we've got adjustable camber front and rear, and adjustable toe up front. HPR has done a pretty good job with this uh, flux setup. You've got your flux reload V2.0 speed controller, waterproof of course, and that goes with your flux shot motor, 4300 kV motor, pretty tough. Also, these are by Castle Creations. We've got waterproof electronics all around, servos, motor. They've even put in a pretty good battery box to keep out all the dirt and stones. Overall, HPR has done a pretty good job here. If I could have any complaints, it would be the steering. Could have a little bit stronger servos in it. The turning circle is not that great. Other than that, you're not going to get better for your money for a, an RTR vehicle. Full-time four-wheel drive with a full metal drivetrain and sealed diffs front and rear as well as center diff. Guys, for a one-tenth vehicle that you're going to do a bit of bashing with, a bit of jumping, not too bad. Rubber sealed bearings all around and on a two-cell LiPo, we were getting about 55 k's an hour. Popped in a three-cell, got about 75 k's an hour. Wouldn't recommend a 3-cell for off-road, it's a bit out of control even with the awesome 4-wheel drive. So guys, if you want one of these, pop out to RC Car Shop. Got a, got a couple of these on the shelf for you.